Sometimes they say it's the labels that are so often so unfairly put on young girls that hurt the most. So what we wanted to talk about today Tracy Quinn, a vice principal at this senior elementary school in Halifax, noticed something about the girls in her classes over recent years. They weren't raising their hands in the classrooms to answer questions. They weren't participating in athletic um, activities. They weren't um, wanting to be part of anything. Quinn had a hunch. In a world where young females are constantly bombarded with unrealistic images of who they think they're supposed to be, could it be linked to their self-esteem? Grade 5 student Danica Ash. Sometimes you can feel like you don't like you don't want to be yourself and that you try to be someone you're not. And what do you think of that when that happens? Not very good. They don't have the belief within themselves that they matter and that they don't necessarily have the tools and the self-respect that they need to know that they do matter. We found that girls were sort of blending into the walls, that they didn't have any voices, and so we wanted to do something about it. That something was for Quinn and another educator to create a lunchtime, not-for-profit, extracurricular program called Strong Girls, designed to empower, which they said had been sadly lacking in schools. Because it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter about your, what you have. It's a lot of self-examination. What makes you, you? I am beautiful. I am what I want you to do is put your hands. And it's yoga up, for mindfulness and a chance to pause and check in with themselves. All right, so hands come up, inhale. We're just a small grassroots project. So we're just trying to make a difference in one girl at a time. And our big philosophy is that we're teaching girls to be at their best, not the best. And their program is expanding. On this day, a workshop with junior high and high school students with, of all things, mason jars. Take a jar and you're gonna grab a Sharpie. They write their role in society on the outside. So whether you said sister, friend, student. Then go around the room and put five things in the jar that represent their core values that help them be them. Surprisingly, some like Emma Farrar find it difficult. So I tend to look down upon myself a lot. I tend to not know who I am a lot. Um, I question myself a lot. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I just, I find that a lot of girls have self-confidence issues. I think I was one of those girls that blended into the wall. I think that I was one of those girls that didn't think I mattered, um, that I was very shy to share my thoughts or my ideas. You know, when you empower yourself, you then empower other people, and then that keeps continuing on. We try to tell them is that if you have a strong sense of who you are as an individual and who you are as a person and a girl, then that's going to shine through in everything that you do. You seem really nice. <laughs> Thanks. I'm finding myself, and that's important to me because I never knew who I was. Sometimes they say it starts with a simple question, who am I? So when these girls look in the mirror, they see themselves. And what's more, they like what they see. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.